Hello, my beautiful soul. I'm so happy that you are here with me together on a new episode from Like in Phoenix podcast with me, Eva Silva. And today I have the topic, can mindfulness help with depression? And I know this topic is uh, also a sensitive one. Um, because depression have uh, several phases where you can uh, be in. So there are lighter ones and there are pretty heavy ones. So I'm not a psychologist. And because of that, I, I can help you with the spiritual thing, with the mindfulness uh, topic um, that you can use on top. But when you have um, a harder way with depression, so you are in a very heavy way, then um, yeah, please seek out for professional help. But you can add this topic or mindfulness in this case on top. So um, yeah, go back to our topic. So yes, mindfulness has been shown to help reduce symptoms of depression, okay? So uh, it can help you develop a more positive and accepting attitude toward your uh, experiences, um, leading to less negative thinking and better emotion regulation. So mindfulness practice can also increase well-being and self-compassion. However, it is important, as I said, to note that mindfulness should not be used as a substitute for professional treatment for depression. Okay, so when you struggle with depression, seek out for help. Because depression is a common mental illness characterized by persistent feelings of sadness, hopelessness and loss of interest in activities previously enjoyed. So when you recognize these symptoms, then um, reach out to a professional one or you can ask me as well and I can... Uh, help you to find help uh, and l let's check this okay let's let's check this topic uh, while m medication and psychotherapy are often effective treatments uh, of depression mindfulness has emerged as a complementary method so this is the the strong and good thing about mindfulness because you can use this as a complementary method through a, a professional treatment you you have and this should be uh, yeah the best thing you you can uh, use and approach this depression thing when you deal with with this um, so to the point of mindfulness Mindfulness involves focusing attention on the present moment without judgment. Okay, and this practice can help you better understand and manage your thoughts and feelings when you go through um, through a depression depression f uh, phase or when when it hits you. Okay, and of course. Uh, research has shown that mindfulness practices such as meditation um, and yoga and so on can help reduce symptoms of depression by increasing positive feelings and reducing net negative thought patterns. So this is what you are doing when you're working through that and how you can use mindfulness to help you with that. Um, there are different and uh, many studies out there um, and one study found that a mindfulness-based stress reduction program reduced 
Symptoms of depression in people diagnosed with a major depressive disorder. So study participants reported feelings, um, uh, feeling less anxious and more positive after participating in mindfulness exercises. So they merged this together and have um, amazing outcome of that. And in another study, mindfulness meditation was found to uh, uh, increase activity in the uh, prefrontal cortex. So this is an area of the brain associated with uh, mood regulation. And um, this suggests that mindfulness may be helpful in regulating mood and reducing symptoms of depressions or depression. So, <laughs> um, so you see that mindfulness can help Uh, you tremendously when it comes to depression, but it's not the, the, the solution for that, okay? Uh, importantly, yeah, mindfulness should not be used as substitute for professional treatment for depression. So I can't say this enough uh, because it's, it's um, very important to, to um, point this out because there are Uh, many more ways you can um, use get over the depression thing. So mindfulness is definitely one thing you can use. Um, then, of course, uh, professional treatment also very important to use this as well. Uh, and you can use um, ways like Exercising, it's also showed that exercising are great for, um, for depression to uh, get better of it or maybe get off of it. <laughs> Then uh, good nutrition is also a, a good and effective way. Um, then a good sleep routine uh, and, and make sure that you have a good um, sleep is also Uh, what you are look, what you should looking um, at when you deal with depression to overcome it. Then also um, social support from other people that support you and uh, help you overcome uh, depression. It's it's also super effective for that um, as creative activities as well. So. Um, Hearing music, dancing, painting, um, meditating can also be a thing. So um, get creative, uh, what feels good for you and what, what um, yeah, increase um, your mood and bring your thoughts to a higher vibration because depression uh, is from an energy perspective a low vibrational state you are in. So when you're higher your vibration, then you um, have a good chance to get over depression. But there are several ways that you are used and that you are uh, should do uh, because depression is not like um, when you have a sore throat and then you you get some uh, uh, medication for that and then it's gone so no depression is more complex so this is uh, because you should uh, not only use mindfulness or also to to overcome that when you have uh, a heavy face of of this uh, this was all uh, what is also um, important to remember that every individual's experience with depression is unique and what works for one person may not work for another one okay so uh, you must figuring out okay what works the best for you and um, this can be different from uh, another one and it's always best to speak with a mental health professional or uh, determine uh, the best approach for managing um, depression uh, and reach out to, to the professionals uh, and then add 
energy, energy medicine um, and, and mindfulness and all these things to, that, to this. And of course, I have five um, tips, uh, exercises that can help reduce symptoms of depression that you can add to, um, to the professional uh, treatment, okay? So the first one is the body scan meditation. So in this exercise, you can uh, lie down or sit comfortably and focus on each part of your body. So you bring your attention to your body and starting with your toes and ending with your crown of your head. And as you focus on each part of your body, take a few deep breaths and let go of any tension that you feel in your body parts when you go through it. So uh, go through, through each part and where you feel tension, hold on this part, breathe in this part, release all the tension and then go to the next body part. So the next thing that you can do is uh, breathe meditation. And in, in, in this uh, exercise, you focus exclusively on your breath. So you focus only on your breath and let go all of your thoughts and distractions. Okay, so get free your mind and of course get into yourself. And you can count each inhale and exhale or you simply focus on the sensation of your breath. It's, it's up to you what feels better for you. Then you can um, make the loving kindness meditation. So in this exercise, you focus on feelings of love and kindness, kindness towards yourself and also to others. And you can silently repeat phrases such as may I be happy, healthy and at peace to yourself and to your loved ones. Um, so you can uh, what what you prefer and what you like the most. So you can only stay by yourself and you can um, bring this to, to your loved ones too in your, in your mind. Uh, the next one is uh, tap your thymus gland. So the thymus gland is located in the center of your chest and is associated with the immune system and general well-being. So when you tap it gently, um, you can increase your energy and decrease feelings of sadness and as well as strengthen, strengthen your immune system. So it has uh, really good things when you do this and it costs you a few seconds. So you can do this in the morning af after you wake up, tap your thymus, um, maybe repeat an affirmation and then start your day. And then the last exercise is tapping your crown chakra and solar plexus chakra. So when you're tapping your crown and solar plexus chakra, uh, this is helping you balance your energy and improve your mood. So you can do this uh, whenever you feel that your mood is dropping, that your energy is low, then you tap your, tap your crown and your solar plexus chakra and breathe deeply in and out. So, of course, here also it's important to know that these exercises should be done regularly to get the most benefit. So you sh can start with five to 10 minutes a day and then uh, gradually increase the time as you get more comfortable with these exercises. But also, all these exercises cost you only minutes of your time. So um, really plan this in your day. So when you wake up or before you go to sleep, um, you can do it um, through the day as well when you have time for this or when you plan your time um, to do this. And you will feel definitely that it will help you with with this okay so try this out and of course let me know how do you feel and how is it going yeah in summary 
mindfulness has been shown to reduce symptoms of depression. By reinforcing positive emotions and reducing negative thought patterns, mindfulness can help you develop a more positive and accepting attitude towards your experiences. However, it should not be used as a substitute for professional treatment um, for depression. So I know I have said this several times today, but it is very important, especially if you are in a depressive phase where you are having suicidal thoughts. Yeah, please seek help because hurting yourself or leaving this planet is not the answer. Okay, never. So you are not um, you are not alone. And let me say, you are loved and needed. Remember that. And for everyone who knows someone is dealing with this, send them this episode or help them get help because it's never too late. So this was the episode for today. I hope it was helpful. I hope you try these exercises. And yeah, of course, these exercises are a starting point. Yeah, because as always, you have to start somewhere to become successful or to overcome bad habits and so on. Yeah, and if you need more personalized help um, specific to your needs in life, or if you're feeling stuck, lost or overwhelmed, and this is absolutely okay when you feel this way, but then write me and I'll help you reach your goal yeah and identify your blocks and get you to uh, to the next steps yeah you need to take to get where you want to go okay reach out to me you can also start with my ebook self love with mindfulness meditation to start a regular practice a easy one because these exercises in this ebook are really easy and it costs you also a few minutes from your day and to get used to it and then you can start a deeper session with me. I would absolutely love to meet you and uh, be in service with you and to you and help you reach your goal and your potential as well. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet, do it now to never miss an episode again. And yeah, you can also follow me on my Instagram or LinkedIn profile and chat with me there. And of course, you find motivational and helpful tips, tips there as well. And if you find this episode helpful, feel free to share it with your loved ones and with your community. Or as I said, when you have someone that deals with depression, um, then send them this episode um, to help them get over it or get starting um, to yeah, seeking help um, and overcome the depression. Until next Tuesday, I wish you a wonderful time and I bless you with light, unconditional love, success, wealth and health. So with love, yours, Eva.